Hi, this is Claudia, and I'm presenting on my thesis, which investigated the impact of socioeconomic status and bilingualism on French language development in early French immersion. Previous cohort studies evaluated French immersion in Canadian schools, but they did not track the same students over time or consider the increasingly diverse language and social backgrounds of today. The present study is the first of its kind to look at progress in the program longitudinally from grades 1 to 3 and with consideration of SES and bilingualism. Now this is important because research shows that higher SES children outperform lower SES on language tasks. Previous experience with another language also impacts language related abilities either positively or negatively depending on the task. And in terms of an interaction between SES and bilingualism, it would be unlikely in small sample sizes. So taking all of this into account, it was hypothesized that French language development would be influenced by children's SES and bilingualism, each independently. This table lists the tasks administered and analyzed. Although there were initially 234 students recruited, my research is based on the main sample, which remained through to year two. This included 194 French immersion students from schools across Toronto. The LSBQ filled out by their parents helped to categorize them as either middle SES or high SES and monolingual or bilingual. The Ravens matrices demonstrated that all students started off the same in their background intelligence, while the PPVT for English vocabulary showed initial deficits for middle SES and bilingual children. To assess French language development, EVIP tested receptive vocabulary, verbal fluency tested word production, and sentence to picture matching tested comprehension. Since data collection was disrupted by the current pandemic, there's not enough verbal fluency data to analyze in year three, so the smaller sample of 105 students only included those who were able to complete EVIP in years one, two, and three. As you can see, the graph to the left shows verbal fluency scores for the easier semantic categories and more difficult phonological categories, while the graph to the right depicts sentence to picture matching scores for the easier descriptive sentences and more difficult relational sentences. In two-way repeated measures analyses of variance, there were no significant effects of language group differences for either task. However, the results demonstrate that high SES students outperformed middle SES students on both tasks. These effects remained even when the data were analyzed with two-way repeated measures and COVAs, which controlled for EVIP scores. On this slide, the graph to the left shows the EVIP scores pulled from the main sample over two years, and the graph to the right shows the results from the smaller sample, which provided EVIP data over three years. The results of two-way repeated measures ANOVAs suggested that students greatly expanded their French vocabulary over time, and as you can see, high SES students began with an advantage and continued to outperform middle SES students throughout the years. And although there were no language differences over the first two years, Bilinguals were seeing greater improvements when the subset of data from year three was included. In conclusion, dramatic group differences emerge even when comparisons are limited to middle to high SES rather than low to high SES. As well, monolingual and bilingual children are performing similarly with a bilingual advantage emerging as time goes on Essentially, there is no harm in enrolling children of either language background into the program, and as hypothesized, there was no evidence of an interaction between SES and bilingualism. These findings are limited to the small sample size and narrow range of SES. 
However, future research could address these limitations and it could also investigate the implementation of educational models for the improvement of student outcomes in Toronto's early French immersion program. And that brings us to the end of my presentation. So I just wanted to thank you all for listening.